kid, 50 something. What you hearing about, baby? I was f***ing six years old. My older cousin blew his head off. All that gang gang sh you gonna be up under the fucking jail getting gang gang on. I mean, it was it was united, but it was crazy. It's the get up. East side, 50 zone, nigga. Oh Detroit. Welcome to my hood, Big Squad CEO. I look f***ed up right now, but this how we play it in the trenches. Mother we in the hood, nigga. Big Coke, y'all know what it is, nigga. I'm the 50 zone with this shit. No, ain't shit changed but the assets. Buying the hood back, baby. That's what we on. We buying the hood back. Let me some water, nigga. I'm walking up. He paying for it. That's my boy. Oh, what you got going on? Heavy motion and pressing. A lot of pressure. Consistency. Elevation, nigga. What y'all talking about? In the hood. I motivate the thugs. We gonna motivate niggas to get the f down about this to everything, you feel me? Oh, that's how I feel like I've been through everything. It's been hard as life, but hard as hell for me though, but I'm grateful as f though. God been holding me down. I'm talking about this shit been for real. I'm talking about homeless on my knuckles out here, you know? Ain't nobody business, but I'm out here doing what I gotta do, you feel me? Child and everything. I knew this shit was fucking kids. Shit. I was fucking six years old, my older cousin blew his head off, you know what I'm saying? Like just from the shit he was going through, just cause life was hard. Shouldn't a 16 year old feel like life's too hard and blow his fucking head off? I was six years old, I understood that shit, you feel me? That was my first tattoo I got, that little boss right there. So what's the role you gotta play in this whole little operation? Nigga, if I gotta drive, if I gotta carry bags, nigga, if I gotta be security, nigga, whatever the fuck I gotta do, I'm doing for us to win. No cap. That's real. Talk about the importance of having a solid support system and team when you're doing something like that. That's why you got crutches. If I fall, another nigga will catch me, pull me up. It's all right for your niggas to check you. Sorry for you to, for a nigga to pull you to the side like, bro, you slipping. And that's real, like, that's what niggas do around here. That's right. The streets, young, you feel me, living in a ghetto, you understand this shit at a very young age, nigga. We outside at two. The f you feel me? I'm an 80s baby, so you know, I, well, I don't know if you know, you probably look young. It was like really, that was like in the 90s, it was really like united, because it was like all the houses on the block. It was ghetto as f but it, it was all the houses on the block. Everybody was together. Everybody family knew each other, you feel me? My mama knew his mama, his auntie know my, you feel me? So it was united, but then again, it was slapping, you feel me? So it was a lot of drug dealing going on, you feel me? Niggas getting popped and everything like that. So it was crazy. It was like good and the bad. Drug dealers took care of the people. Yeah, you feel me? That's feel what it was though. Niggas in the hood who was hustling, feel. they was taking care of everything. Yep. I'm talking about passing out money to, to hey, all of us every us. Fucking day. Okay. Whatever we want to do, y'all race up and down the street, I'm going to give y'all a dollar piece. Just race up and down the street all day. You feel me? Ice cream truck come through. Everybody get something. Niggas yeah. grass need cut. Everybody, Everybody grass cut. Right. You feel right. me? Come Block parties. Here. They yeah. paying for everything. Right. You feel me? It was just, yeah. you know, it was, I mean, it was it was united, but it was crazy. It's the get up. I feel like a lot of niggas in this type of situation be having a lot of yes men and shit. niggas just telling no, what they want to hear. That. Ain't none of that going on. Swear to God. I man. mean, like, 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 you know, niggas have been through that stage. Like when niggas around that ain't supposed to be around, but they around the niggas around that should be around, but hate the other niggas around, don't want to come around because of the vibe ain't right. right. Niggas, you right. Nigga ain't got rid of all that. Shit. So it's all about the niggas who want to see niggas win and make this shit happen. Like you know, a nigga purpose is to change niggas' lives. That's right. So I'm a street nigga, sacrifice nigga. I used to do everything in the streets up under the sun. I don't do this shit no more. I gave it up. But like, it wasn't even because at the end of the day, they go. I got a place for you. I got a place for you. All that gang gang. Sh you gonna be up under the fucking jail getting gang gang. On. What do you think was your the moment when you was like, I can't do this no more. I gotta do something different. Sh well, I'm watching these niggas every day get this motherfucker time. So y'all had like real OGs out here type. Sh Hell yeah. yeah we, I, I ain't gonna lie. We had some man. OGs around Close here. Screen, though. But ain't none of my niggas had no big homie. Nah, flow, flow so what's the difference door. between an OG and a big homie? See, a big homie gonna take care of you. You feel me? Kind of nurse you into the shit. An yeah. OG just a nigga who don't you lock, seen from lock, where you from who was club, doing it lock. right. You feel me? Don't and you lock, got mad respect for him because he did it right. Yeah. He ain't never had to do shit for you. You feel me? But he showed you from, you know what I'm saying, third person. You could see a nigga doing it right. You know what I'm saying? Come out, take care of his business every day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything is on the up and up for the nigga. You feel me? You doing it right. OG. Yeah. I mean, it's different OGs, you feel me? 
It's OGs and it's niggas who OG and the big homie. You feel me? And some niggas who just OGs because they've been doing it for a while and they've been doing it right for a while. So, what role do you think you stepped in at this age? Shit, I'm like an OG and a big homie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Everything is A1. Coke, that's my nigga. Coke did this for me. You feel me? Like, I hold my niggas down. Everybody I f with, I hold them down. You feel me? Niggas and bitches. That's how I am, though. <laughs> Don't be scared. My name is Kari and I'm a young CEO. <laughs> what do you feel like your responsibility to the young ones is? Yeah. Saving their money. Yeah, man, saving their life. I ain't finna send no niggas on no clown dummy missions. Go out here, man. Go a gun. Go shoot these niggas. Man, nah. we trying to build these kids up and show them that you, you you really ain't gotta have a job. You can you can you can venture off and do something else. You can be like he said, CEO. You can manage people. You can be an entrepreneur. You can you can do whatever you want to do, besides drugs, man. Cause that shit is been through everything. Yeah. It's just it's rules to this shit, though, and it's yeah, you know yeah. you got principles. You feel me? It's structure to what we do. You feel me? It's structure to how we niggas go through. Shit. It's structure to how we you know what I'm saying uh, deal with each other. You feel me? We just don't go about life willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? This shit for real as hell. Yeah. It's certain shit I won't do to him, and certain shit he ain't gonna do to me. That's just what we stand for. You feel me? And it's certain. I'm always gonna do for him no matter what, and she gonna do for me no matter what. You feel me? That's my brother. No shit, we just work that shit out, nigga. Keep talking. That's communication is the key to everything. You keep that communication tight. Every, you know what I'm saying? Everything gonna go right. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, people, you know, say have bad days, go through shit, but that's where communication come in. That you keep it 100 with it, and you can go from there. You know what I'm saying? The shit go on. Loyalty, respect, all that. Shit. That plays in one part. So what would you say the lowest point for y'all was then coming out here? Shit, losing your love, your close brothers and shit. Fuck shit happen every day, but when it, when it get closer to you, you up worse. Because we all feel it. man. Be an entrepreneur, because this shit ain't fuck, what it cracked up to be. This shit right here, it's a hell of a life we live. A trade or something right, like that. If you don't Keep trying five, to progress to a trade. on the right track the streets right. ain't for nobody for real no play sport for like. whatever you can to keep your ass out of harm's way and not the <laughs> police way and not the whole nigga way if you, wanna, if you don't like working for nobody that's when you go to school get you a trade and then build up from there to save your money that's what you do save your paper invest your paper it's like a lot of niggas they get them a little money spending they don't know how to manage that shit. that's all they don't know how to manage it. I mean, you, but see, a lot of niggas ain't never been taught how to manage it. That so be the man, first step. That, so that, it takes us three, lying. four times to bump our head with some paper right. to even learn what the fuck That's to right. do with it. You feel That's me? Right. And that come from not having no big yeah. homie. You feel me? And it I took us no bumping right. our head three, four That's times right. to really solidify some paper and be, you know what I'm saying, doing the right shit and investing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really be sitting around with, you know, with tickets. When you make some money, invest that shit. Man, figure out what's your neck, you feel me? Stocks or real estate or, you know what I'm saying, right. starting your own company, whatever the right. it is. Figure that shit out. We can invest in shit. Invest in yourself, believe in that shit. Stick with that shit. It's going to pay off.